Today, Larry Dunnigan is chairman of the board of directors of Old National Bank Corps and founder and president of Holiday Management Foundation. Throughout Larry's distinguished career, he has personified business excellence and inspired a generation of business leaders with innovative spirit, bold vision, and deep passion for community. Larry grew up in Owensville, Indiana, on a farm that his father owned. Larry's father had a passion for building single-family homes. Larry and his brother took over a lot of chores on the farm while his father pursued his dream. Larry went to Hanover College and later transferred to Indiana State University, where he majored in special education. He discovered that wasn't really for him, and he went to work for Sears and entered the management training program. During this time, his grandfather was in poor health. His father could not find a suitable place for Larry's grandfather, who needed 24-hour care. Going around the, the community, he, he wasn't comfortable with the facilities that he saw available and thought, you know, there, if, if I feel this way, other people must feel the same way. What if we constructed a, a modern facility on one floor that was geared primarily for long-term care, no steps, that was convenient with nursing uh, stations and centers placed strategically around the building. Wonder, wonder how that would, uh, would, would go. The nursing home Larry's father constructed was located in Princeton, Indiana. The concept went over very well, and Larry's father thought he was on to something and wanted him to be part of it. I'd been at Sears about four and a half years on a management training program, and, and I, I knew that I loved business. Uh, but I, I wasn't still at that point sure uh, where my life was going to take me. And uh, I got a call from my dad who said, uh, you know, it looks like there is a real interesting future for long-term care uh, for, for a nursing home rehabilitation center um, and you know that we've been successful with the first one that we started in Princeton, Indiana and your mother and I have been talking and we have uh, agreed that we would co-sign on your note if you would like to, uh, to come uh, back to southern Indiana and, and open a facility. It was a dream come true. It was what I had always wanted to do was to have a business of our own that we could pour ourselves into and perhaps make a difference in people's lives. In 1969, Holiday Healthcare was opened. One and a half years later, Larry's father passed away. Today, Holiday Healthcare has become the leader as a complete healthcare facility. The thing he wanted to do was to be sure that his children could have a start, a better start than he had had. Uh, and, and he, was, he was able to do that. This operation requires personal attention uh, on, a, on a daily basis to provide the kind of care that you would want provided for your family. And we thought uh, how wonderful it would be if our residents had access to health care right here on the premises. We then saw a need for uh, retirement apartments and we were able to purchase an additional adjoining 16 acres and uh, start to uh, uh, construct uh, uh, residential apartments. In 1982, Larry started One Call Communications, a long distance and operator services provider that grew to over a $100 million a year company and one of the 100 largest private held companies in Indiana. In 1996, realizing that cell phones were coming in and the internet was where their company needed to be, One Call Communications was sold. Larry then founded Enframe, an internet data storage and systems management company. It became one of the three largest data centers in the Midwest. In 1996, Larry sold Enframe to Landmark Communications, which owned the Weather Channel. Larry and his wife Sharon are passionate and generous supporters of countless Evansville area civic and community organizations. Together with their family, they have established the Holiday Management Foundation. That has given us an opportunity and gives us our greatest satisfaction of, uh, of being able to, uh, to pour back into the, to our communities and to, to truly help those who, who are in need.
If a young person came to me and said, how can I know if, if business is, is the place for me? I, I, I would say that you've got to want it with all your heart. You, you have got to be willing to uh, uh, pour yourself into this thing. You've got to be willing to accept uh, defeats along the way. Uh, you, you have to be willing to never, ever, ever, ever give up.